Hello guys and welcome to another Flex episode. I'm Junaid Tirkat, your presenter for Flex and with me in studio is Kwedi Amakulu from NHP. She is the marketing uh, manager and um, corporate communications manager. Kwedi, welcome. Thank you, Junaid. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? Good, good. Awesome. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to jump straight into the questions mm -hmm. but we're just gonna have a quick break first and then we'll come back for more and we'll just talk about NHP the products and their aff uh, affiliates with um, Flex. I'll see you guys right after this. <laughs> With Kwedi mm -hmm. Um Yes, uh, NHP, what do you guys stand for, your goals, your vision? Um, with regards to NHP, which is uh, Namibia Health Plan, yes. that's what it stands for. It's mm -hmm. a medical aid fund that provides um, additional, that provides medical cover yes. to members. Yes. And we currently are the largest fund in Namibia. In Namibia. Okay. And what we truly stand for is our mantra is where about you. Mm -hmm. And that's very true because everything that is designed around our products and our benefit options uh, is all around and about our members. About the clients. It's yes. about our members, yeah. yes. And um, we're not just tooting our horn or saying we're the, we're the largest and we're truly about you, but... For the past 11 consecutive years, we have won the yeah. PMR award for best service delivery in okay. Namibia. So with regards to the medical aid industry. So obviously you have clients, um, companies, individuals out there yes. that definitely have said you are definitely the best service mm -hmm. delivery with regards to the medical aid industry. Um, yeah. No, that's awesome. And we're happy to have you guys on board with Flex. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And can we just look at the different products that NHP offers? Okay, um, NHP currently offers um, different benefit options. That's yes. what we call them, benefit, benefit options, options um, to meet specific different needs of members. Okay. So you have your traditional benefits, um, benefit options, which are your gold, your platinum, and your titanium. Mm -hmm. These are generally for... Um, especially for people that have things like um, if you have health issues yes, and you need a higher plan or you have a family, um, if you have chronic health problems. Mm -hmm. um, and just if you're, if you're planning on having certain health, having specific uh, operations yeah. or done for that specific year, mm -hmm. so you always have to work out what benefit option you're on. And then we have, um, we have the silver, Mm -hmm. bronze yeah. and the hospital benefit options. Okay. Again, this is for your young, healthy, yeah, you know, you feel like you're safe. So <laughs> I won't be seeing the doctor that often, you know, <laughs> you don't have a large family, you don't have a family or even the silver works really well for like young families, like okay. young, young people. people, exactly. Yeah. Then we have the hospital benefit. This is definitely for those young, very young people who think I'm never going to actually end up Okay. I'm not, I don't need to see the doctor every year, mm -hmm. every month or whatever it is, but then yeah. um, just in case yeah. something happens, we know our hospital costs are extremely high. Mm -hmm. Okay, then we have, um, we introduced specific benefit options for um, a lower income bracket, not necessarily, one of one call them a lower income bracket, but then just to give people the benefit of also having access to private medical care. Okay. And these are your blue diamond and your Tunga benefit options. Mm -hmm. So th there's an area of options that people can choose from okay. to best suit your specific needs. You yeah. need to determine like what are your needs, what are, uh, what are you financially able to afford, um, and all those things that you have to take into consideration. So you have a choice. There's quite okay. a range of choice. Okay. Mm -hmm. So they were normally medical aid, they require that you have a medical, like, yeah, a report, your medical report that you have to add in. Is that how you guys determine in what benefit plan you go? 
No, the members themselves determine the what benefit the plan, decide what, they want. what benefit plan they want. The report okay. is just for us to determine if you have underlying health issues yes, or so yes. we just need to understand what your health history is as well so we could also advise you on, on what's best what's for best for you as well okay mm -hmm. now that's great you already answered the one uh, about <laughs> going on the budget to yeah. what you'll go for yeah. so then okay um so we won't be looking into the costing of those benefit plans but if they if the audience wants to know more can just go on to your website or? yeah so they can go onto our website it's 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 hard there's no set amounts per se because it all comes down to what benefit option you choose mm -hmm. um, the number of dependents you have yes your age um, and again if you're working for a private company it comes down to like how much does the company subsidize your medical aid mm -hmm. so all those things have to be taken into consideration so there we cannot say this is the cost Oh, it all okay. comes down to okay. all those specific factors. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, yeah, this is one that's one thing that I wanted to ask actually. <laughs> when it comes to people living a high risk life, or not high risk, let's say skydiving, you know, those adventurous types, are they going to be on the gold plan then? <laughs> um, most medical aids do not cover for. Um, for those types for of extreme sports okay uh, it depends so you'd have mm. to you would have to check with a medical aid for certain things but then we definitely do not cover for um, your risk takers okay. you know it's just like no those people yeah no okay <laughs> just, no. okay no mm -hmm. awesome well thank you query that's just the first part of the interview we'll go into a quick break and then we'll be back with query the marketing manager at nhp we'll see you guys in a bit Go far with Paratus. Go further with Paratus Fiber. Paratus offering high speed, reliable fiber connectivity. Starting from only 620 Namibian dollars per month. Unlimit your lifestyle and visit na.paratus.africa for more information. We are back again with Kwedi. I'm Jeanette Dirkhat, your presenter for Flex. So we're just going to look again into what you as a member, or if you want to join NHP, what mm -hmm. you will need to join. Yes. Can you yes. just tell us what it is that I have to bring with, with my application form? Well, the best thing is always to contact us. You know, yes. Just make sure that you do have everything. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, you need your medical report. Um, you need... Um, You'll need a certificate okay. from your previous uh, medical aid, if you did have a previous medical aid. Um, you'll need, your, obviously, your ID. Mm -hmm. And if you're having dependents, they would also require their medical report done or their medical check done. Um, and if you're married, you'd have to have proof. Yeah. But okay. then if you're not married, because we still cover for cohabitating partners as well. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So, but then you'd have to give proof that you've actually been living together for the past year. Okay, so it has to be a year. Hmm? Yes, it has to be a year. Yeah, it has to be a year <laughs> to say that, okay, you actually yeah. have been together for a year. Mm -hmm. um, did I, if I find miss anything, please mm -hmm. yeah, just, visit just, the just website. Yes, Everything's absolutely. on there. Give us a call. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. So just again about the cohab, Cabotating partners. Mm -hmm. um, so, what would that proof then be? Can I then perhaps that uh, bill or payment that we've both been paying for the apartment, so something like that? Yeah. So that's proof, and then you'd also need. Uh, so it's it's what we look at is exactly like if your payments are or your rental agreement that your mm -hmm. landlord can actually say, yeah, they've been both if, have been if yeah, if you've, yeah, yeah, exactly. So there's certain factors. That we look into, yeah. Okay, and me as a young girl, you know, I can just also, obviously, I'll take the hospital benefit one and be like, Why yeah. would you? <laughs> you never know what happens tomorrow, yeah. that's the yeah, thing. Yeah, no, that is the thing. And we know medical costs are extremely high. No, definitely. Yeah. So how long does it take for your medical aid to actually kick in after you applied for it? So, um, well, it depends, because sometimes they will be, um, what do they call them? Sorry. Sometimes they are, um, what's the word? Exclusions. Okay. So there's certain things like if you join the 
if you join the fund, for example, if you join the fund when you're pregnant, there will be a period, a waiting period. Um, if you join the fund with a pre-existing health condition, mm -hmm. so, there's, so, so it's specific, so it'll have to be, it's, it's different exclusions based on different things. Different things. Yeah, okay. so or waiting periods rather. Yeah. yeah, and you don't always have to go for the one that you do through the company, you can go as... Um, yeah, so you can yeah. join the fund just as an individual member yes, as well. Yes. yes. Okay, and just pay obviously. Yeah. Um, what are the additional programs that you guys offer to your clients and the services as well? Okay, we definitely have some... Um, quite a few. Yeah, we have quite a few uh, complementary benefits or programs, rather, that we do offer. There's the oncology program, mm -hmm. so that's, um, that's literally managing pay, uh, members that have cancer. Yes, yes. Um, so it's advice, it's just managing their benefits, giving them, so it's all those. Then we have the AIDS for AIDS as well. So that is if someone is HIV positive, it's also managing that whole process with your doctor, mm -hmm. with your medications, with your how are you doing, how are you, just to manage those type of patients. Okay, okay. Um, and these all don't come at necessarily at an additional cost. They, they do mm -hmm. not come at an additional cost. Then we have, the, we have the risk management program as well. This is for people with chronic, usually with chronic health issues yes. that have been ident identified. So what happens is we will contact you. We will see that are you actually taking your medications? Obviously, are you going to the pharmacy? That's how we track it. Mm -hmm. Have you been going to the pharmacy? Have you been picking up your chronic medications? Because obviously we know that in Namibia, there are currently quite a number of silent killers. Yeah. And um, this is your hypertension, mm -hmm. um, high cholesterol, quite diabetes, a number, diabetes. Like, yes. Yeah, so if those are not managed, in many cases they can become quite fatal. Mm. Um, so we manage it at that level where we just monitor the specific patients and they're contacted just to see that everything's fine. They're, they go to their doctor's visits, they're taking their medications, they're picking up their medications and all these things. And then we have the wellness program. Mm -hmm. The wellness program is designed mainly around, um, the main aim is, is motivating that whole preventative care mm -hmm. and also identifying members that will probably end up in the risk management program. So what happens at a wellness day is the main people are tested for things like your cholesterol, your high blood pressure, okay. your... BMI, mm -hmm. you are in the right weight. Yeah, your body mass index. Yes, yes, exactly. <laughs> so um, all those things, and then also advise on a lot of other things. So we include, mm -hmm. it depends on what the client or the company wants to okay. be included as well with regards. Sometimes there's the nutritionists um, just giving people the advice and then just, so that's what the wellness program is. It's very much about preventative care because mm -hmm. a lot of people mm -hmm. don't understand that if you don't take care of yourself, the likelihood of developing something in life is very likely. No, so it's about managing and managing your health right now, mm. you know, for the better outcome in the future. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, I also saw there's a program, uh, the smoking. Yeah, there's the quit smoking program. Smoking That's just program. again, you know, smoking is also a killer. So yeah, definitely. So it's just again, it's 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 um, providing um, where patients per doctor's prescription can take specific medication, medication to, to try and help them quit smoking mm -hmm. and yeah, so. So normally uh, um, are those prescriptions not normally covered by medical aid then? Or? Not normally, no, okay. not normally. And yeah. then, um, did I forget something? Oh, we have the neck and back. Oh, okay. The neck and back rehabilitation uh, program. What that does is to try and prevent um, members from ending up in surgery because surgery especially with your spine and is very evasive mm -hmm. and the possibilities of something going wrong so it's trying to prevent it's it's a treatment program which is actually designed by um, DBC it's it's a specific international program that is about therapy tree trying to treat uh, back and neck related injuries yeah. or problems and avoid person having to go into surgery. And it's actually been proven around the world that is the best approach to actually try and treat it through, um, it's through physiotherapy, 
They have specific machines that are used. Um, so it's an entire holistic program, which we're okay. also, which they are also growing on, to try and treat the specific um, mm. injuries. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. There's actually also something very interesting that I saw that you guys offer the baby line services. Yes. <laughs> so I, I don't have a baby, but if I get one one day, I'll be like, oh my. So this baby has been crying all night. Please come <laughs> yes, take her. <laughs> yes, and the baby line that's oh, that's oh, that's on offer for. I mean, it's twenty four seven. Mm -hmm. 365 days a week. Yeah. So if it's that moment where you don't have the chance to quickly, like to, you're on holiday, far yes, from a doctor. doctor, so you can quickly phone. So you have a, on the other end of the line, you'd have a pediatric trained nurse, okay. registered nurse, that would give you advice. And obviously, she would also tell you if maybe it's time to try and find the emergency, time to go to emergency, or you know, just do this, this, and this, and watch out, and just manage, uh, just wait it out. Yes. And so it just helps. I think it gives it gives mothers a more of a calm than always rushing to. Mm -hmm. To I'm I'm one yeah. of those. I well, I used to be one of those. My little girl have a temperature. I'm like, doctor, there's something wrong, please. <laughs> and he's just like, just, just, just give her a Panadol. <laughs> She's probably just having an ear infection. Uh, then you realize that like we actually waste quite a number of our benefits on, on a lot of things that we things, can actually yes. manage on our own. Mm. Like, you know, so, yeah, so the baby line, that really, really helps. Yeah. So panic, I uh, don't panic and call uh, NHP yes, baby line. line. Yes, yes don't exactly. Panic, guys. <laughs> yeah, okay, so. Awesome. Uh, um, yes, can we also just talk about your affiliation with Flex? And yes, yes, obviously we contacted you guys. Mm -hmm. and what, you know, yeah, why did you want to work with us? How about you first tell the audience what the FLEX program is? Yeah, so <laughs> wellness program actually, yeah. Okay. okay, so the decision around that again, it's, it's, it's very, with regards to the fund, it's been very, very important with regards to the whole concept of preventative care mm -hmm. and putting that back into members' hands Yes, yes, you yes. know, so because people have to take ownership of their own health. Mm, so that's very, very um, important to us as the fund. So when you approached us with regards to this whole flex program, it's something that's very important to us. And again, that's coming back to the wellness program, mm, the yes, risk yes. management program. Yes. So this it's, yeah. yeah, so it was like a partnership that just made sense to us, especially mm -hmm. because of the whole element of preventative care. Yes, definitely. Yeah. Yes, Kwezi, so I'll be waiting for you in the studio so that we can do a few exercises. Okay, okay. Yes, I can, absolutely. I'll try, I'll try. I'm, you have to I'm take it easy that on me. Yes. You have to take it, take it easy on you. Okay. <laughs> well, that brings us to the end of the program. Thank you so much, Kwezi, for thank, being here. Thank you for and having we me. We look forward to seeing you on Flex again. Okay, Hope and so we'll see you guys in the next Flex episode. Bye. <laughs>